a problem with my 2020 Mercedes Benz. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive Rides. That's right, I have a problem with my 2020 Mercedes Benz. For those of you that don't know, I picked this up recently because frankly, I love the Mercedes Benz. And something you may not know about me, I do love cars as well as trucks. You know, I'm really a, an automotive person. Anything that has an engine that goes, I really dig it. And I love this car. So I decided to pick up a used Mercedes. I actually got it for CarMax. And I did that because I couldn't find a new one. You can't get them anywhere. You know, with the current shortage that's going on, it's tough to get anything new. But anyway, I have a problem with the car. Now, this isn't something I didn't know about when I got it, I did. The thing is in excellent condition. I mean, inside, you'd think it was brand new. If we take a look in there, this thing is pristine on the inside. Looks awesome. I haven't found any issues whatsoever on the inside. Although, let me tell you a little quick story. I thought I did discover a problem. You see, on the Mercedes, there's an automatic headrest here. You push this button and it raises and lowers the headrest. Now, when I drove the one in Ohio recently, it was an E320, it had the same thing on the other side. And in the Mercedes, it looks exactly the same on the other side, right? You have that little top part that you think would adjust the headrest. But in this particular model, it's a dummy. It doesn't do anything. So when I was in the car, I was trying to adjust the headrest. I was hitting that button and it didn't work. So I started to put a little more pressure on it. Not enough to break it, although that was a concern. I was pushing pretty hard. And then I did some research. Always do your research first. I discovered that it's a dummy. It doesn't do anything. It's just there for uniformity in the car. This particular trim, my particular car, does not have that feature. Live and learn, right? So let's get to the problem at hand, what I discovered. And I discovered this when I picked it up. So I could have backed out. I didn't have to take it. But that is curb rash. If you look at the wheels, they are curb rashed. And they're curb rashed all the way around. I mean, look at this. You know, why people do this, I don't know. It's just a matter of care, caution, and it's much worse on the other side. You know, this side is, is much better, but still, I don't like it. I don't like the way that it looks. I've got it on the back as well. So I decided that I'm going to replace the wheels. And the conundrum, the problem that I have is what do I replace them with? Do I go with genuine Mercedes wheels or do I go with a replica or even some other brand? Um, I've decided to go with replicas. Um, I don't see the reason to spend the money you have to spend on new ones and frankly, I haven't been able to find any new that are all black, and that's one thing that I want. I don't want the silver or chrome, whatever you want to call it, aluminum accents. I want them to be all black, and then they'll have that badge on the inside. So I will maintain a little bit of the chrome color on them. I also want spoke. I want the same kind of setup as what I have right now. I don't want anything different, anything funky. I do want to try to maintain the look of the Mercedes. I think it's a classic look. I think it's awesome. And I think having spoked wheels on this car is a must. Now, there's an issue in doing that. You know, they have different size tires front to back and they have different size wheels width wise. They're 18s on this car, which are perfectly fine. I don't need anything different than that, but they're different widths because of the different width tires. So, I have to find some or be able to buy some that are different widths. I believe they're seven and a half and eight and a half, if I'm not mistaken, by 18s. Now, the other issue is the offset. You know, I would prefer, if I had to have any different offset, to have the tires come out just a little bit. And I don't mean like on the truck where they're mud tires or some kind of uh, off-road type setup. I'm not looking to do that with the Mercedes, of course. But I do want something if I have to, if I can't get the same thing, that comes out a little bit more. I certainly don't want anything that goes further in. And I've discovered that it's rather difficult to do that. Trying to nail down what the current offset is on this car, these tires or these wheels, 
is very difficult to do. There's all kinds of opinions and things out there on the web, and they're all different. So I don't know exactly what the stock wheels are. I think I've narrowed it down, but I'm not positive. I actually need to talk to the company that I think I'm going to buy from uh, and see what they have to say about it. But anyway, that is the problem with my 2020 Mercedes-Benz. Um, I do have some mods coming for this. I am going to mod the car. I'm definitely not going to leave it as is. I've got a spoiler coming. We're going to do something with the front bumper. Uh, all kinds of things that I'm looking to do with this car because that's what I do. It's what I'm into. Should make the car better, I hope. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know if you happen to know what the stock offset is on a C300 2020 Mercedes-Benz with 18-inch wheels. Leave a comment down below. I'd be very curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about the Toyota Tacoma, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.